Choppy Pine Studios presents. Schizophrenia Simulation. Okay, so this is a game I found that apparently takes an amount of empirical evidence from studies of schizophrenia and tries to put them into a game such that you can experience it to give the best possible understanding from somebody who doesn't have schizophrenia as to what schizophrenia is like. So this is probably a bit more unusual than normal in terms of what's normally on this channel, but let's see what happens with it. Okay, let's start the simulation and see what happens. Whoa, this is a freaky camera angle. Okay, so let's have a look around and see what we can find. Feel dizzy? Yeah, I'm feeling dizzy just looking at this. Okay, um, computer. These are my pills, it must heal my mind, I hope. Okay, I don't think I can interact with them, I don't think I can click on anything. Um, I look outside. Oh, what's this? Document. Testing new efficient medicines to cure schizophrenia. Test. Medicine number 137 uses a new special mechanic to neutralize the neurodesynchronization in the frontal lobe, hippocampus and temporal lobes. Excuse me. Neurocognitive deficits in the uh, me mesolimbic pathways will be balanced with dopamine supplements. Caution, this is a test medicine. If you feel discomfort or any other side effects, please do call Dr. E. Bueller. Okay, so presumably I'm on some sort of experimental medication for schizophrenia. I would assume. This is a very freaky camera angle. Where's the phone? What have I done with the phone? 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 No, that's a piano. Where's the phone? Ah, oh, here it is. This is the phone. Hello? saying I'm not even sure you can hear that okay can I go out here feeling anxious me both kiddo dinner what's that some tomatoes I want to paint something and relax hmm curious speaking of painting things my studio is upstairs oh okay I should go upstairs and paint something um, speaking of painting, those um, paintings on the on the TV uh, on the menu screen. If you're not familiar with uh, with what those are, those are paintings of an artist who had schizophrenia. He was on medication which um, subdued the problems, but he then painted a picture of his cat every day, and he, was, he had the same picture. And his idea would be he'd paint the exact same picture every single day for a month, but each day he wouldn't take his medication, so he'd. The, the, his symptoms would come back more strongly and it was a picture of his cat and you can see the progressions of how he envisions the same image further and further as time goes on through the paintings that he painted. It really is a fascinating read. Uh, I'm not sure what his name is but um, I'm sure if you just look up uh, paintings of cat um, by schizophrenia sufferer I'm sure you'll find it but it's, it's a fascinating read and fascinating to look at the the paintings and try to try to gain an understanding of of what, of what people suffer with. Okay, so this is the bathroom. I'm assuming I'm supposed to actually be looking for the um, uh, the studio, so I should probably I should probably go upstairs and try to find that. The key must be in my room. Okay, so the studio is in there. I need to find a key. Okie dokie. Aha! The key to the studio. I assume, anyway. Ooh. Okay, that's quite disturbing. I don't like this picture, I want to throw it away. Press E to a new photo picture. 
Okay, that's better. I need some more paints. The doctor told me to use more colours, so I should find more paints. I might have something. In TV room downstairs. Okay, so I need to get some more paints for my painting. Okay, this is... As I, as I was saying, this will be a very different different sort of game to what we usually have around here, but uh, is that what these are? These pots? Paints. Excellent. So yes, obviously this will involve a different style of editing, a different style of, of, of talking, and a different style of viewing, obviously, so we'll just sit back and relax, and we'll just well, try to relax as best we can in this this very disturbing experience, and try to not again. Painting is back. My mind is playing tricks on me. I need another pill in my room. I must say I'm going to get very fit moving around like this. I haven't sat down in at least half an hour. There we are, some pills. Okay, alright. I hope it will help. The doctor told me to eat more sugar. Time to go to the kitchen. What about painting? Okay, if you insist. Is that what this is? Eat an apple. There we are, right. That should give us a bit of blood sugar. I feel worse. Oh, that isn't good. I can't move. My head is so heavy. Oh, I can move again. What's that? Sound? Where is the sound coming from? The sound? Is it real? Is it real? I must say, if this describes one thing very well, it certainly describes intrusive thoughts. Is it this chair? It's painting again? No? Was that chair knocked over before? Or is that. Am I just noticing it now? Everything seems normal in here. I didn't notice this before. It's a combination to a safe. Uh, I don't know the combination though. Is it in here maybe? Voices in my head, they're driving me crazy. I need to rest. Um, I'm not sure if you picked that up because the audio levels aren't bouncing pretty high for the audio at the minute. Um, I'm not quite sure why. They should be, but they're not. Um, that was saying the things that you see in the shadows are sometimes more than just shadows. Vertigo. Okay, uh, get in bed and have a have sleep. Turn the TV on by accident. They hate you. They all hate you. Even we hate you. They hate you. They all hate you. Even we hate you. You ignorant brat. They hate you. They all hate you. Even we hate you. You ignorant brat. Cool it for two seconds. Oh great, this thing again. Wh Where is the sound coming from? Please, can I get this accursed music out of my head? Oh, thank you. Great. Is it the TV? Is that what's making this infernal noise? No, it's quiet for at least. I assume it's actually in the kitchen then. Oh, of course it's the piano, isn't it? Of course it's the piano. Time's up! Time's up! I have to wash my face with cold water in the bathroom. Okay, okay, okay. I 
think, I think it was a piano, honestly. It's so stupid. Yeah, it's the painting again. Hi. Mirror. I have to take some more medicine now. This is most certainly extremely disturbing. And just give, give me, just give me the pills. Give me the pills. Oh my God. Yes, I am on the experimental medicine. Behind you. I saw a shadow, but I didn't see anything else. Okay, I, I took the pill. Do I go back to bed now? I, I need to calm down. I need to calm my mind. Bed. Here. Bed. All right. All right, just yeah. nice and easy. Yeah. Just get in bed. Yeah. Oh, hi. Yeah. Lovely. Grace and other aliens. Fantastic. Oh, what? No one else is here. There's no one here. This, isn't it? This cursed painting, that's what's causing this problem. Just through here, I haven't tried going through here yet. There's nothing here. Oh, there's a door here though. Now I can't even go up to this door, let alone go through it. Okay, well at least things have calmed down a little, I suppose. I've forgotten how to walk through a doorway. No, the house seems to be completely empty. Nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. Just go back to bed and rest and, and, and sleep. Hopefully. No? No, am I supposed to take another pill? Seems like things get worse when I take the pills, not better. No, then what do I do? At least the mirror is a mirror again. Okay. I seem to not quite know where I am. Now do I have a pill? No. Can I go to bed now? How did I get here? I don't remember. It's a very good question. Okay, do I go back to the bathroom again? Perhaps I can... Okay. Or is this just something that happens randomly over time? No, it's not. They are already here. Memories fade. They are already here. Fade. They Alright, 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 okay. Okay, so I need to find three keys, maybe? Where am I? So I'm sort of amazed at it. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm gonna avoid you. Green lights? Okay, that's just the doorway. Okay, that's not anything to worry about then. That's just the doorway. Instead of 
How did the speakers get on point? So, some sort of maze, and I've got to find three keys and avoid those. What are these voices saying? They're so quiet, I can barely hear them. There were a lot of these red people around, but no keys. Oh! Oh, hi. Hi, key? Key? No, no keys. Oh, great. I just get the keys and get out of here, please. I don't like it here. But, oh, you again. It's always you, isn't it? There's the door again, but I haven't found any keys yet. Wandering endlessly, trying to find anything. Just wandering around in the, the vain hope that stumble upon something. Oh, a door? Am I going crazy? No, no, that isn't a door, it's just another wall. Whoa. Are those eyes? Nice. Oh, you again. Hi. I should have guessed you guys would catch up. You're not carrying keys, are you? You're not carrying anything. You're just waltzing. Just waltzing around rather creepily. At least the eyes have gone. Whoa. Oh, what's that? No, I don't think that's the painting that we encountered before. That would be something. Or is it just a painting? No, no it's not, it's something else. Is that a key? Is it, is it pick up? Yes! I got the key, okay. Okay, 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 we found a key. We may not, we probably still need a couple more, but we found a key. Those things are still chasing me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, hi. Do you have a key? No, I can't go up to you. Okay, I'll leave you well enough alone then. It's just the... It's, it's the random nature of it. It's how just stuff happens. It's just how random things happen and you never know what and you never know when and you never know what any of it means and you never know whether any of it's significant or just... It's just noise. It's very taxing. Oh, another key? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, now we've got two keys. As I was saying. Random noises. Random thoughts. Visions. Okay, there must be one more key. Put in the two keys we found so far. I need one more key. Okay, so we still need to find the last key then. I really do not like you. you think. Whoa! I don't like that. I like that even less. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe? Is that it? I see a light. Yeah? Yes? Excellent, final key. Okay, good, now I've got the keys. I just need to... I just need to get through the door, get out of here. Just... Just escape. Whatever it is that's chasing me, and wherever it is I am. Oh, great, the painting again. Okay, I think it's this... I think the front door's this way. Oh, hi, you again. Stuck in the wall, I see. Well, you can try to stay there as far as I'm concerned. OK, 
Okay, I've got the keys. I must be able to escape now. Okay, there we go. There we go. Wake up! Oh, I get five minutes of sleep. It's just a dream. Yes, I'm glad it was a dream. That was a horrible dream. Is there any other kind? I'm dehydrated. I need some water in the kitchen. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that painting's still there again. Lovely. Okay, let's get a nice glass of water and relax. Water. Oh, is this water? Yes. Yes. Feels better. Okay. Can I get some sleep now, or am I in for another ordeal? The latter, I see. Very much the latter. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think I might do that if I'm honest. Open the safe. What with how? With what? Oh. Go ahead. No, go and go ahead. What is the code? No, no, I don't know. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Help me. Help I don't me. know what the code is. Help me. Help me. Help me. Go and go ahead. Help me. Help me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Help me. Help me. Go ahead. 137? No. 0137? I'm the only number I've seen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Where's the code? Shapes. I don't need shapes, I need numbers! What's the code? Oh. What is the code? There's no code here. What's the code? What, the number can be five digits long? I don't know what the code go is. Ahead. Help, help. Go ahead. Go ahead. Help. Try to see one other alternative. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. Right. Where am I? This light keeps getting further away. My demons. One. Personality is sealed here. Forever. Worldwide, about 1% of the world is diagnosed with schizophrenia. Well, that was very disturbing. Yes, those are the paintings I was talking about. Um, okay, so that was extremely disturbing. Um, so yes, as, as, as I said, I, I believe this has been based off uh, an amount of uh, empirical evidence that's been collected from studies of, of sufferers. That was very disturbing. I can't possibly imagine living your entire life like that, and I can certainly imagine the attraction of that um, solution at the end, shall we describe it as such, um, if it can be described as such, um, as a way of escaping that 
torment, that that hell, uh, that hell of your own mind, that inescapable torment and fear and and abuse. I mean, that certainly very accurately described uh, intrusive thoughts and anxiety very well. Um, obviously, I, I can't. I can't see how well it does describe schizophrenia as obviously, you know, I, I don't know anybody who has schizophrenia, I don't have it myself, so I can't uh, accurately say how how accurate that was, but that was certainly a very disturbing experience and I can certainly imagine that that was or that, that is uh, a good a good depiction of certainly of, of how I would imagine it being. So that was very interesting, that was very well made um, this was very, very, very interesting to play. Very interesting indeed, and obviously a great departure from what we normally do. And and well done to these these people, these Chopper Pine Studios, for what they've made here. And as you can see, it was made quite a while ago, and it seems to be quite popular, which is good because I feel like this can tell a lot because I feel it's very hard to empathise with a person's problem until you really understand what it's like to have that problem, like with current situations that are going on currently, some people find it difficult to empathise with uh, discrimination against a people. They find it, they, they can understand why it shouldn't happen, but they can't truly empathise with it because they haven't been discriminated against themselves. And I feel like this and other games that exist to try and help educate people about what mental illness is really like, this can really help people to understand the, the reality of the situation and to empathise with sufferers better. And I think I think that's a very good thing, and I think lots of people could benefit from having a greater understanding of, of what these conditions are like, and what it's like to live with them, and the kind of hell that it puts you through. So that was that was Schizophrenia Simulator or Simulation. Thank you very much for joining um, me this evening on this this adventure, quite literally into madness. Um, I'm not going to say I hope you enjoyed it. But I hope it was interesting. I hope it was as perhaps quite as eye-opening as I uh, as I found it. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, as always, and more than ever, look after each other. And good night.